V B N the Witch Video Blog Network home to weekly NFL predictions, great personality profiles, great professional wrestling video blogs, great sports video blogs, great MBTA video blogs, great top ten list list of enti- of everything and anything, and tons more. Collection of my work goes back to June of 2014 on various social media websites. RVB and the only video blog on the internet that matters. Time now is 7:44 in the evening, Belwick, Massachusetts. It's about 68 degrees out under sunny skies. Da. Sun's going to go down in about a half hour. Perfect summertime weather. We're going to repeat this again tomorrow in New England, but Friday the humidity starts creeping back up. It's summer, so you'll be being used to this heat, and the next few weeks is the hottest time of the year. Do you think we're going to? Do, you, do I think we're going to get a heat wave? Yes. Do you think there'll be days like this? Yes. Because summer is like that. You have to have the mix of both. But it's better than shoveling snow. Some news to report on the RVBN Newswire. Do, 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 do. Next season, uh, a NHL hockey player, one, if they come up to the NHL, has to play for a minimum of $650,000. That's a good raise. Also, the Ottawa Senators have re-signed Mike Condon to a three-year contract extension to back back up um, Craig Anderson, so that's a good deal. Reports out of Edmonton via Elliot Freeman of Hockey Night in Canada Connor McDavid's contract extension with the Edmonton Oilers is going to be eight years, well over a hundred million dollars. He deserves it. And the Boston Celtics have told Kelly Olynyk they're not going to bring him back next year. Kelly Olynyk's a restricted free agent. He played for the Celtics for four years. That's a little bit disappointing. I kind of liked. Kelly O'Lenick, but I think the Celtics are after big name players Paul George and Gordon Hayward. ABC has announced its renewed match game for a third season with host Alec Baldwin taping in New York starts in October. Um, the, the match game revival is okay at best. It's not the uh, the original version of the 1970s. Alex is an okay a host, but I think t- this could be the last year of it because it just, I think it might have run its course. But maybe it's getting um, good ratings in the 18 to 49 age range. If that's a good, that's good if they have good ratings for the 18 to 49 range. That's key demographics that networks like in order if the show's going to be renewed or not. And sad news to report in the world of music. Singer Gary DiCarlo, who was part of Sha Na Na, and a few other groups, passed away at the age of 75. And a few people asked me, is, did Gary um, DiCarlo play Bowser on Sha Na Na? No. Bowser's played by John Ball, Bauman, and... Bauman is still alive and well. So prayers the family of Gary DiCarlo in this time of the That's about it on news from the IVBN News. Why do, 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 do. Be back in the fat last with my second and final video blog on my uh, top 10 best NFL rivalries of all time. But first, hear this. Tomorrow on RVBN, three more video blogs for your entertainment. First video blog is, is my take on if NHL... NBA and Major League Baseball contract contract should not be guaranteed. Second video blog, it will be about the Pac-12 Network. And third and final video blog on that will be about top 10 best Major League Baseball rivalries of all time. Saturday, the personality profiles return. And next month, 
for some personality profiles I've been working on. Daniel Alpherson, Adam West, Taz, Wendy Nix, Melissa Stark, Steve Garvey, Alcee Core, Philip Rivers, BJ Armstrong, and a ton, ton more. You gotta hear them. And a lot of summer residents, um, summer spots in New Hampshire. I'm back. My f second and final video blog subject of the night is about the top 10 best NFL rivalries of all time. These are the best of the best of the best. And here they are. Number 10 on this list of the best NFL rivalries of all time, the Cleveland Browns versus the Cincinnati Bengals. This rivalry started back in 1968 when Paul Brown, who founded the um, Browns, went to Cincinnati and became the first head coach of the Bengals. The Bengals and Browns have played in the same division since 1970, and two, both of their games each year are very, very highly competitive even though the Browns since we re rejoining the NFL in 1999 have stunk it's like every time the Browns beat the Bengals they've just won the Super Bowl but the Browns and Bengals probably won't win a Super Bowl in my lifetime number nine on this list of the top ten best NFL rivalries of all time the Cleveland Browns versus the Denver Broncos in the 1980s the Browns and the Broncos met three times for the AFC Championship 1987 I mean 1986 1987 and 1989 Broncos won three of those games two of them Denver one in Cleveland John Elway made a comeback at the fourth quarter in the 1986 and AFC Championships game and the Broncos won in overtime and these three AFC Championship games were like classics and it developed the big rivalry between the Browns and the Broncos in the 80s and 90s. Number eight on this list of the top ten best NFL rivalries of all time. The San Francisco 49ers versus the LA Rams. In the 1970s, the NFC West was dominated by two teams. The 49ers and the Rams. Through the decade of the 1970s, the 49ers and Rams were the only two teams to win the NFC Championship, I mean, NFC West title, and they would have classic games. Usually those games met very important because whoever won those games probably would win the division because the division back then were the Falcons and the Saints, and both teams in, in the 70s with those two teams stunk the joint. Number seven on this list of the top ten best NFL rivalries of all time, the Steelers and the Cowboys. They met in two in three Super Bowl Super Bowl um, eight um, Super Bowl ten Super Bowl thirteen and Super Bowl thirty. But the rivalry with the uh, with the Steelers and Cowboys in the set in the Super Bowl ten and Super Bowl thirteen were pretty amazing. Uh, Steelers had an awesome lineup in the 70s with Frank Gohara and Mean Joe, Joe Green and Mike Webster and the quarterback Terry Bradshaw facing off against quarterback Roger Starbuck and and a, and Tony Dorsett and a few others. The Steelers won two of three Super Bowls against the Cowboys. Number six on this list of the top ten best NFL rivalries of all time, the Cowboys versus the Redskins. The Cowboys and Redskins have had a rivalry since 1970, NFC East rivals, and many times over the 70s and 80s and early 90s, usually these two teams were on top of the NFC Eastern Division. And both their games were classic during the regular season. And sometimes the, the regular season games, whoever won that series probably won the NFC champ and NFC Eastern Division title. 
Number five on this list of the top ten best NFL rivalries of all time, the Colts versus the Patriots. This rivalry started in 2001 when Tom Brady became Patriots quarterback and Indianapolis had Peyton Manning on there on, on, as their quarterback. They always would play every year. Sometimes in the playoffs, Patriots would beat the Colts a lot. And sometimes the Colts would beat the Patriots. These teams met in the playoffs five times. Patriots have won, f won four of them. Colts won one in the 2006 <laughs> AFC Championship game. And this, this rivalry continued to get hot in 2015 when the, when the Colts accused the Patriots of the flake gate in the AFC Championship game. <laughs> Patriots smoked the Colts that day, and the Colts have not been to the playoffs since. Talk about karma. Number four on this list of the top ten best NFL rivalries of all time, the San Francisco 49ers against the Dallas Cowboys. The 1990s, this had a big rivalry between the 49ers and the Cowboys. Usually the games were on national television. And three straight years, the Cowboys and the 49ers met in the, to determine the NFC Championship game. Troy Aikman versus Steve Young. Um, the Cowboys won two out of three of them. Number three on this list of the best NFL rivalries of all time. The 49ers versus the Giants in the late 1980s, early 1990s. This was the best NFC rivalry going. The 49ers led by Joe Montana and Roger Craig and Jerry Rice and Ronnie Lott usually faced off against the New York Jets where Phil Simms and Lawrence Taylor and the great defense of the New York Giants. It was Bill Walsh and eventually George Seifert facing off against the Tuna. Um, Bill Parcells. Um, the Giants scored a big upset in 1990 NFC Championship game, which denied the right for the 49ers to three-peat as NFC Championships. And that was a crushing blow to Chris Berman because I think for 10 years in a row, Chris Berman picked the Bells to face off against the 49ers in the Super Bowl. He had at least one team right um, several straight years in a row. Number two on this list of the top 10 best NFL rivalries of all time, the J Jets versus the Patriots. Division rivals since the old AFL days in 1960, but this got this rivalry got heated in the 1990s when Bill Parcells left as coach of the Patriots to join New York Jets, and in 2000 it got even hotter when uh, Bill Belichick, assistant to the New York Jets, became coach of the New. Um, the New England Patriots, these have won, these have had great regular season games, some memorable, some not so memorable, and the Patriots have played the Jets in a couple of times in the playoffs. Patriots have won two out of three, and also the Jets were accused the Patriots of Spygate, but everybody videotapes everybody, but the Patriots got caught. And number one on this list of the top ten best NFL rivalries of all time, the Bears versus the Packers. This rivalry goes back to 1921. And every time the Bears face the Packers in, in the divisional game, it's like a Super Bowl for the Bears and the Packers. But only one time the Bears versus the Packers had a game that meant going to the Super Bowl in 2010. The Packers smoked the Bears. Um, that that game and the Bears haven't been 
good ever since, but it's always a great game when they play. That's about it on these rivalries. I'll be back tomorrow, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google. Google Plus, or three more video blogs for your entertainment. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Bunning guy. Molly Rosebud of WCCO Rocks Tennis Nice Likes. Elizabeth Hot So So Standing. She's the best. Amy Sweeze is awesome. Awesome, Amy. Then Church of WPIX Channel 11 New York. Such a rocking Cougars. Get the best likes in New York City, bar none. Bob Gibbs of ABC 11 has a sweet southern accent. Best likes in Raleigh, New Carolina. Lisa Bell of New Six in Orlando, Florida is awesome. Fourth best legs in Orlando, Florida. Christian Giantis is Greek goddess. Fifth best legs in Orlando, Florida. And Alia Wooley of WABI Channel 5 in Maine. Going in Maine has the best legs in Maine. And she's an awesome UMass slow graduate. Go Riverhawks! Bye!